everyone, Nicole Stackline, Technical Agronomist for DeKalb and Asgrove in Northeast Iowa, and I'm bacon. And it's time to cut these corn plants off because they look kind of drunk. If you can notice, we've got some corn plants here laying over. Yes, it is the dreaded rootless corn syndrome. So you can get rootless corn syndrome, particularly when you have extremely hot and dry conditions during the first nodal root development most notably around V3 to V4, which is especially where we're at right now. So if we come in closer and take a look at these actual plants and we dig these up, these plants are still trying to survive off of the radical root and the seminal roots here, but where we're trying to get these nodal roots to, um, to start growing, the top of the soil is very, very dry. And we still need to have some moisture in this soil to keep them have enough moisture to continue to grow. So when we've got these plants that are laying over like that, it's because of these weather conditions. Now, conditions that will make this even worse um, if we had shallow planting conditions. So we know that when we plant shallow, those nodal roots are gonna set closer to the surface and that's where we've got more of that dry, hot soil conditions, which is going to contribute to these nodal roots kind of burning up. Other things that can happen is if you come down here and take a look, we've kind of got this furrow. Again, you get really hot, you get really dry. You get where that furrow starts opening up and allowing that hot, dry air to come into contact directly with those nodal roots. It's going to inhibit them from growing. Now, how do we fix it? So the short answer is we get rain. If we get rain, those roots can start to grow again. It's going to bring itself back up. If we want something that's under our control, if we do have a lot of floppy corn out here and the forecast doesn't look good, the other thing we can do is come out here and cultivate. And basically when we cultivate, we're just trying to throw soil onto that furrow on top of those roots to give them some buffer from the heat and the dryness. So um, I know that I've talked to some people down in Johnson County that are starting to see this rootless corn syndrome. I wasn't expecting it to see it here already in Dyersville, but these furrows are opening up, giving that hot, dry air directly onto those ruts. So um, especially in some of our no-till acres where it can be hard, especially this year, it can be hard to get that planting depth. And sometimes it can be hard to close those rows up a lot of those are starting to open up now. So go out, check your fields, see if you're starting to see some of this drunk corn. Um, other things that can make this corn a little bit floppy right now, in this heat, if we have an application of a group four herbicide, such as a dicamba, that might make it get a little bit floppy as well. So it's going to be important to think about those other things that could cause this drunk looking corn. It's okay to have, you know, tipsy corn, buzzed corn, but we don't want drunk corn. Um, and we need to be able to determine, is it just from a herbicide application or are my roots suffering? And can I do something about it? Either get a rain on it or possibly cultivate it, throw some soil on top of that row. Um, that's all that I'm seeing for now, besides from more dry corn. If you've got any questions, call, text, or email.